one but this team knows what it's like to be able to lean on five guys Let's going go into a race. Five of us, fully foolproof. This time, baby, I'll be bulletproof. This time, baby, I'll be bulletproof. Welcome back to Run Junkie. I'm actually at my parents' house for Thanksgiving weekend, but it doesn't matter. Run Junkie still goes on. Cross country is in the books. Colorado men, the Michigan State women, they are your team champions. Edward Cheserick, Kate Avery, dominate, dominate individually. You're making a great mistake if you think that you can beat me. You can't. But let's talk about the teams or performances that kind of get overlooked. Let's start with the men's side. I'm going with the Portland men, the third place team, you may think, yeah, it's impressive, they got third. But no, the way they got third, two, two of their top five DNF'd. That's right, they had to rely on just five, a five roster squad. David Perry, the West Coast Conference champ, didn't finish the race, yet they still got third. Ryan Poland, David Perry drop out, but they still show up big. That's impressive. On the women's side, the New Mexico women. Big shout out to those Lobos. Alice Wright, the freshman, she was 116th. 116th at 2K. She went from 116 to 20. That's pretty good. Pretty, 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 Why? pretty good. Individually, men's side, I think it's gonna be Sean McCordy. Sean McCordy, everyone talked off like, hey, he didn't show up last year, he was like 100th and something, whatever. He got 20th this year. He is. A stud. To calibrate, place the stud finder against the wall where you know there is no stud. He's only a sophomore, but he's a freshman for the track season, so watch out for him. And then also on the women's side, Sarah Tisanza. She also was like 100th whatever last year, and then this year she only got second. That's, yeah, she only got second, so that's pretty good for her. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Now with some great performances, there's also some not so great performances, and I think the disappointment of that meet has to be the Oregon men. Now I'm not talking about Edward Cheserick and Eric Jenkins, because what they did is phenomenal, one-two punch, that, that rarely happens in cross country. I'm talking about their fifth man. Their fifth man was 130th, 130 points, which made them get six. If he would have been 100 points, he, they would have been a podium team, but he kind of just fell back and they just didn't have that depth. And the Oregon men, you know, you, you think they would have that depth, but they don't. However, as negative that, as I may sound about the Oregon men right now, they are so good this indoor season. They have, listen to this, they have four guys, four, four guys who have run sub 752 in the 3K. Four. Wait a minute, how many was that? Uh, seven, yeah, maybe. Two. Um, I love track. Uh, well, I tell you what, let's, let's just start all over again. I'm making me some milk and cookies, and with cross country in the books, it's Thanksgiving weekend, which only means turkey trot season. Now, we're not talking about 20 to 25 minute 5Ks. We're talking about the fast ones. We have James Cameron out in the Silicon Valley for that 5K out there, and also Lawi Lang, Steven Sambu at the Battle of the Oyster Bay going at it. All I know is James Lee's athlete is going to win the race, but that we're going to be giving you coverage of that race as well. And also, high schools, high school. The California State Championships this weekend, so look out for that. We have some action all over the place. Bounce will be covering that. You know, I got my milk, I got my cookies. You got it fixed.